going to try a drop, it seems. He's got uh, eight Marines loaded up in a medevac. Don't know where these are headed, but despite that incredibly decisive attack, I mean, he did... Look at the units lost right now. That is a about four... Oh, I think it is a full 4,000 unit loss differential. And despite that, the Zerg army is larger. That just goes to show yeah. the extent of the economy lead that Sen has right now. And it was excellent by Sen to hold that and not lose his hatchery because uh, he could have completely overreacted thrown a ton of units at it in bad position and he would have lost his natural and maybe some of his main as well so he did keep his head and he really just barely held that off but per part of that comes down to just some good decision making on his part and the fact that he is in this position is credit to him and the way he reacted to what was a really bad situation. Already more Mutalisks engaging, the Mutalisk count back up to 12, despite that 20 plus being killed. Uh, Sen once again has a great force. I don't see any Thors. There are two on the way and about darn time, but uh, the damage has been done, so once again, Strelok on the defensive. And just look at the map right now, it really is valuable to look at the vision of Sen. He can just see a full half of this map. And Strelok is just completely contained in his little corner. And uh, looks like the Zerglings con uh, considering an attack, but they're backing off. So uh, Sen is content just to harvest this incredible lead he has right now. And then uh, follow up something bigger. Yeah, so Strelok, he is going to get this high yield going. Turning that into a planetary fortress. Um, that's going to be really helpful. Because if Sen tries to engage this with ground forces... Since this is sort of on its own little peninsula, if uh, Strelok can trap him in there with a planetary fortress on one side and his tanks on the other, he'll be able to completely dominate anything that tries to take out this base. So realizing that, he is building a good number of missile turrets because, um, hey, one of the only good ways he's going to have to take this out are those mutalisks. Uh, but against this many mutalisks, three missile turrets isn't going to cover it. He's going to have to build some more. Um, but he's just really short on minerals. This high yield's going to help him out a lot. But uh, Sen should be up on five bases soon. I'm surprised he hasn't taken that 12 o'clock natural yet. And there we go. He is starting to take that now. Yeah, uh, we are getting a push from Streetlock, oh, it seems. Oh, Banelings! Oh, there were burrowed Banelings, and he didn't blow them up. They will oh. be there to flank. There they go, and they're shot down in a second. I didn't even see those Banelings, but they were all for naught and those Marines stimming in to try and engage once again. Uh, the, Bailings, the Marines are in a position, there is one Thor firing on the Mutalisk, the Mutalisks are unfortunately clustered up, the Thor going down however, and it looks like Strelok's force here is going to be completely wiped out uh, once again, and uh, the Zerg army looks like it's going to get away being the stronger force. Yeah, and that, that was a pretty big hit. Um, right there, Strelok did lose quite a lot. This one tank is or Thor is out on its own, he's going to smartly start running away now. I thought Sen was going to be able to turn around and just kill him for being by himself in the middle of the map. And Strelok, you know, trading units at this point is not something he wants to do. So even though that was a, a decent trade on his part, it's just going to put him even farther behind. Where in a closer game, that would have been really good for him. Just winds up being really bad. Now, uh, the one thing to his credit is he, he's got some nice upgrades going on. He's getting level 3 weapons for those Marines. He does have a pretty good number of tanks. So army-wise, we are more or less equal. He is successfully grabbing a fourth base, and because of mules, Terrans can really survive off of fewer bases than a Zerg player. They waste less supply on drones. And uh, I do feel that while Sen is in a better position, Straylock is certainly in a strong position nonetheless. So Sen's going to have to find a way to tech to something different. He is grabbing Hive, getting Infestors, getting upgrades, and that's what he really needs to try and break this, because a Terran player on four bases that he can defend is a frightening thing. Yeah, and he has been going for these Banelings, but he's never gone for that huge number of Banelings to really just wipe out all the Marines. You see, the same thing is going to happen here. He's going to move in here, he's going to kill a decent number of the Marines, a couple of the tanks and then he's just going to be forced to back up. Uh, I think with this many bases, if he just committed to get the those mutas and a ton of banelings in there, and I mean a lot of banelings, just blow up every single marine that's right there, completely wipe the Terran army off the face of the map, and then just go off and start killing other bases, he'd be in a much better position. He is starting to get some infestors out, which will help with that. He can fungal growth, keep those marines in position, possibly be able to take them out a little bit easier. But uh, until he gets that really good number of banelings out, 
He's just sort of struggling against this army of Strelok, but again, he can afford to make these trades while Strelok really can't. Now, we did miss a little drop inside of Sen's main. A few Marines totally roasted, and Strelok again pushing out, overextending some units, and looks like he's going to lose all these tanks, Thor, and Marines. And if you look down at his high yield, he just left behind all of his Marines, um, which really made the difference there, because you can see in all those previous engagements, He'd done a good job against the limited Baneling count of keeping at least half of his marines alive against the Banelings. Um, but for whatever reason, they just got left behind that time, and his army, without that marine support, just got rolled. So now Sen finally got a good army kill on Strelok, now making more Banelings, has a good number of Infestors out. Ultralisk Cavern on the way, which might be the GG button that he's been looking for for a while. Ventral uh, Sacks as well being started. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Sen's still looking really good, uh, hasn't even thought about taking the island, that might be what the drop upgrade is for, um, but you'll see some players will actually just uh, Nidus Worm that instead. Now, Strelok, uh, again, he his position is not looking as bad than it was before. Uh, what is in his favor is the both players have similar numbers of workers. Strelok, however, has that massive mule advantage, so he's really starting to cook ahead, and... The problem Sen is now faced with is that he's been unable to contain the Terran player long enough. So now operating off four bases, I imagine the main, yeah, the main is mined out, natural's mined out. But as long as that Terran economy keeps ticking, he can use superior units. So I'm really glad to see that Sen is grabbing that Ultralisk Cavern, getting all those great upgrades like Adrenal Glands and uh, level three Carapace. And I'm missing now a drop by Straylock. Once again, been denied. Sen has been right on with all of those dropped, mostly because this fantastic Overlord placement. So it's hard to say. I, I think the Straylock, the onus is not on him anymore to do damage because there aren't many more bases for Sen to grab. Meanwhile, uh, until he can get a counter to Thors and tanks, Sen is going to have a hard time when uh, Straylock finally mines out his bases. I don't know. I think that Sen really can't let um, Straylock hang on to this fourth base indefinitely. Because uh, that's making a really big difference in his unit production. You can see that his army is much, much bigger now. He's able to crank out a lot more units than he was previously. If you look at the uh, army tab, uh, Streetlox has actually passed him in supply and uh, value, partially because he got that extra base up. And, you know, Sen was making all these trades with the uh, armies, you know, under the assumption that he's ahead economically, which is not true anymore. So. He really needs to do something about that base over there. He's uh, loaded up eight Banelings into these Overlords, probably going to just try and Baneling drop the uh, SCVs, but there's four missile turrets being produced. So if he tries to fly those Overlords directly into the mineral line, they're just going to get completely torn apart. Not to mention there's a planetary fortress there, so the Banelings might have a hard time actually connecting with anything. And we're going to miss that, I think, because Straylock is moving out with this force. A massive pile of Marines, tanks, and Thors, and very nice upgrades. Three attack on the infantry, two attack on the tanks and Thors, and really no attempt at all to get armor, because who cares? We're trading units here. Nice fungal <laughs> growth right away. Straylock uh, forced to slow his advance oh. and waste a lot of energy healing. Another beautiful fungal growth on Straylock. Straylock is completely stuck. Uh, infested Marine drop the tanks, blowing away their own forces, and a great play by Sen to delay this terrifying armor, because he does not have the forces to deal with this right now. Ultralisk's finally popping, however, with five armor, only one upgraded to attack. So we'll see what happens. This is going to be a very decisive battle. Whoever wins this pretty much is going to take the game, I think. Yeah, and he is charging in these Ultralisks, running in face first. Great numbers of fungals, but there's just so many tanks here in great positioning where you cannot get a surround on them at all. And not really any Banelings mixed in there to help take away those Marines. More fungal growths, infested Terrans, but he did leave a good number of his tanks sieged up behind that force. So he'll still be able to wipe out the reinforcements from Sen. Uh, might have to back off here, but still really good engagement for Strelok so far. And he, Street Sen, now in the opposite position of what he was before, where he could make these trades all day, really cannot afford to keep doing this with Strelok, or he's going to be put in a really bad position. He's now made a full transition to Zerglings and Ultralisks. It looks like he's still no, no longer building any Mutalisks. He is supply blocked, however, a ton of Overlords were being killed in that exchange. I, I didn't see which ones they were, 
and Sherlock finally pressing in, gonna kill those the bases that are still actually mining. The rest of them essentially mined out, and I don't see what Sen can do. He's just gonna, he's got to hide for the time being, get enough Ultralisks out, and hit that rear of the tank line, which is nice and exposed. Short of that, this is actually gonna go to Straylock. Oh, bunch of Ultras popping out right in front of the army from that uh, hatchery. Gonna give him a nice ability to kill some units, but it's just not gonna be enough. There's too many tanks here. Um, once, you know, he got the Planetary Fortress up at the gold and the uh, 3 o'clock natural, there's just not a whole lot he could do with both of those mining. And he never got the island up as well, so he actually started to fall a little bit behind in the uh, econ economy game there. So... You know, Sen's going to get a map choice. I think that base over here at 3 o'clock really played a big factor. Because uh, Sen really never did a whole lot to try and pressure that. Yeah, so very well played by both players. We are moving on. This is not a 3-0. 2-1 now in favor of Sen. Strelok claws his way back in. And that was by no means a slaughter. That was very close the whole way. But he does get back in the game. Well played by Strelok. So we'll be tuning in right away with game 4. And I'm certainly looking forward to that.